A-C-E-Y. Okay. Right. She's a good cat. She always wants to be fed six times a day, but I feed okay. her because she's tubby. What color? She's a tuxedo cat. Okay. Black and white. Black and white. Very yeah. good. Okay. And, well, I, I don't talk much about cats, but Jesse, yeah. I'm glad that you have a cat friend. That's wonderful. Yeah. And, and uh, I took last week off, you yeah, know, because well, I, I needed that. the break yeah. and everything. You know, well, we kind had of... the privilege of having Brenda Jordan. Oh, yeah. Here. She's we great. Were, we were at, uh, we did in a program uh, right from our school with our science fair. Yeah. But uh, she did real good, and naturally she knows all about these things. But Jess, what's coming up this week for you? Anything special? Ah, uh, no, just work. <laughs> okay. You're on TV. All right. Well, uh, good morning, audience. Uh, good morning, good afternoon. Good evening, TV audience, because we're on 7.30 on a Monday evening, my good friends. If you'd like to see what we look like here, we got some really sharp-looking young ladies with us today. So we probably really do want to turn in and, and uh, turn on uh, Comcast Channel 17. 7.30 on a Monday evening. I'm not sure exactly when this program will be aired. That's up to the, the cable station. But we know they'll be on. And uh, we're so glad to have with us some special guests today. As they always are, folks, don't forget International Academy of Flint open enrollment. Come on and join us at any time you'd like to for a building tour. Uh, Mr. Cisneros, I don't do a thing all day long but wait for people to call and put them on a, give them a tour of the building. I just sit there waiting patiently for call after call. <laughs> of course, I might be telling a little story there. We have but. not have been proud uh, over the many years to provide uh, a one full-ride scholarship to one graduating senior from every school in Genesee County. And, and we applaud that, sir. We applaud thank Mark. You. And thank if you. If you are even a part of that, we, we thank you yes, so very, Yes, it's very a big much. commitment yeah. on behalf of the major, college. Major. Um, uh, the Board of Trustees and the President uh, have proudly been uh, offering that for a number of years. So there are 44 different institutions of higher learning. I shouldn't say higher learning, but, but uh, uh, schools. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be your publics, your privates, your charters, and your adult and community education yeah. uh, institutions. So they all get to nom we we provide them with a scholarship, uh, two years, full ride, fall, winter, and wow. the principals and counselors make the decision as to who they want to select. Mm -hmm. So we leave that in their capable hands. Indeed. And uh, it's just a wonderful opportunity for scholarship. Oh, indeed. And students yeah. that come to Mott have an opportunity to study uh, from amongst 40 different uh, occupational degrees or 120 different programs of study. And even if you're not looking to get a degree, uh, you certainly have lots of students that transfer out of Mott and transfer their credits with them to to universities yeah, and colleges. That's one of your very strong points is your uh, rec um, receptivity to, to other uh, curriculums. And I know, I believe, I'm not sure the ranking, but I know you're uh, one of the highly ranked community colleges or junior colleges now called community colleges mostly in America. In, in 2010, uh, we had the distinction of being uh, one of the top 10 community top colleges 10, 10, in the country uh, as ranked by the Aspen Institute, a very prestigious uh, award. And um, uh, under the direction of Dr. Richard Shank, our, our leader, uh, and our trustees, uh, it's, it, it's just a, quite an honor. We're really, really, Indeed. really yeah. pleased, and we want to continue to build on that. And every year you get a chunk of our kids because, first of all, naturally you are, uh, just in terms of where the rubber meets the road, less expensive, okay. uh, which is a blessing, okay. and then our kids will earn their two years or so with you and then slide into that four-year institution for the final degree, uh, meaning usually a, a bachelor's in arts, a bachelor's science, whatever it might be. So that is you're just a wonderful um, road, r expressway to, to a, a four-year degree. And right that. on the main campus as well, we have the university center that houses some of our institutions of higher learning, mm -hmm. U of M Flint. Eastern Michigan, um, I think uh, Ferris, Rochester, Ferris, is Ferris, Ferris all those schools, yeah. they have a relationship with us and they have a presence on our campus. Mm -hmm. So students who want to continue on to go for their bachelor's degree, they can stay right on the campus right and do there. that with, them, yeah, with our partners. Yeah. All right, very good. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you again, sir. You, we'll bring you back in a moment or two. Right here on the TV camera, you, you brought Fabulous. me a, a little gift here, which I'm sure. very thankful for. Paul, can you catch that? What does that say, Paul? It'll cost extra. <laughs> <laughs> you got to hold it up for him to read I, it. Uh, well, yeah, I, just read it. Okay. Uh, what's that word? The? The. <laughs> the tradition starts here. He's not a Mott graduate. To, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's referring, to, of course, to the tradition of Mott Community College. And we at International Academy of Flint are trying to build 
a tradition as well. So we are hand in glove with you in terms of that, sir. And you also gave me a, a mug here, <coughs> Paul. You might be able to see that. I want to know what happened to my stuff. Okay. Uh, yes, it's, I think it's in the mail. In the oh, <laughs> it's in the mail. Okay. Right. And you brought me a little bear. And why do we have a little bear, kids? Because Mr. the mice got us. Put that mic right in your nose there. What do you say? That's the mic? The uh, mascot. Mascot. Okay. Very good. What's the bear's name? The bear has a name. The bears? Yeah. <laughs> call him Bubba the Bear. I just made that up. Okay. Bubba the Bear. Or you can call him Grizzly. <laughs> Polar. <call> Smokey. <laughs> Smokey. Yogi. <laughs> Both two are taken. Okay. <laughs> Let's get a little out of hand here. Sure. So we got to hold him down. Hold him down. Well, everybody, we got some of our own kids here, too. Oh, I'm so excited. We got a whole family full. And uh, by the way, I, I stepped out of the school today, Paul and, uh, and Jesse. I yes. stepped out of school today and. Uh, directly in front of me when I was getting in the car to pick the family up to bring them over here. Lo and behold, one of the top five preachers in all of North America was there. In fact, North America, South America, and all the ships at sea. Uh -huh. And I looked straight into the eyeballs of Pastor Threlkeld. Oh, that's what important to say, Benny Hinn. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what, a, what a thrill to see him. And we had a very short, a brief but very concise uh, conversation. And what a great guy. We had so much fun with him for a few uh, quick minutes this morning. And Pastor Threlkel, thank you so much for your support of, of this program. And of course, uh, he was out actually hand delivering um, the uh, courier, CPSA courier, to the schools and other locations that receive them. So, Threlkel, I saw you, Pastor, and what a thrill it was for me today. And God bless you as you. Uh, serve so many, so many families uh, in Genesee County. So thank you kindly, sir. And now, for the highlight of the day. <laughs> Sounds like we're off to the races. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we got a whole family full of guys here. So let's start with the oldest to the youngest. Can we do that? And introduce yourself, old lady. Who are you? <laughs> Hi, my name is Ivania Thomas. I'm the senior at International Academy of Flint. Is senior citizen or just senior? <laughs> uh -huh. Senior, right? Senior, okay. yes. All right, baby. Okay. Where Graduated in this year, 2014. Okay, and uh, I think I know where you're going to school, but tell the world. Tell the world, girl. <laughs> going to Mary Grove up in Detroit to okay. study pre-med. Wow. Mm. Carlos, isn't that wonderful? Huh? There's an applaud right there. Okay. So uh, that's wonderful, <laughs> child. We're so proud of you and your family and mom. Is mom listening right now? I said, oh, mine might not be. Mom's at the dentist, so she might be. <laughs> <She's like, "Mmm." laughs> that's all she might be here. But uh, we're just so pleased. I'm going to just shake your little hand here. Okay, very good. Now pass that mic to somebody else I know pretty well. Hey, girl, who are you? Hi, my name is Rayquana Dukes. I'm also a senior at International. <coughs> And I'm also going to be attending Mary Grove College. Yes, I got right. both of you. We better warn the college, Carlos. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> better warn them young men what's coming coming down there. Okay, and you are going to pursue pre-med. Wow, both of you together. I think that's marvelous. What 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 a treat! I tell you, um, what what a great occupational choice you have. That, that's wonderful. The medical profession, you know, many doors will open, and you will continue to serve humanity in the way that you will. It's going to be a lot of hard work, a lot of reading. You better love science because you better, you'll be immersed into that from day one. But uh, such a blessing that we're so pleased you'll graduate from our school and go directly, uh, to, well, in the fall to uh, Mary Grove. Uh, can you talk a little bit about uh, what you know about the school by way of uh, uh, distance, cost, some of the reasons you selected that school? Could one of you address that a little bit? Either one. I went to Mary Grove. Did you? Yeah. Did you like you it? Did? It was summer school. That was Paul Herring. He went to summer school at Mary Grove. Yeah, it was wonderful. Grove. It was okay. wonderful. Wonderful. And uh, Alice drove him. <laughs> no, why are you selecting? Oh, of course, you've been accepted already. Yes. And that's part of the, our, the game we play. Well, it's not a game, but that's the way we play at our school. In order to graduate from high school, at our, at our school, you have to be accepted by a college before you graduate. Mm -hmm. You guys know that is absolutely 100% true. Yes. Why did you select Mary Grove? I, I know you've been accepted, both of you. Can you give me another reason or two? Well, Mary Grove is uh, affordable up in our price okay. range. And it's 
not too far away from home. Okay. You know, like we're all like, yeah, you want to get away from home, yeah. but kind of like not that motherly cooking. There. Is that right? Okay. Uh, I can drive down for okay. Sunday dinner. And <laughs> okay. All right, very good. Eat good and wash my clothes. <laughs> I see. So we're still going to use mom, aren't we? Yeah. Bless yes. her. Okay. God bless her. Okay. Well, let's pass the mic on to these two little. Uh, who is the oldest now? Okay. This is. Uh, Ray Anya. Okay, why don't you tell us, hey, what grade are you in, young lady? I am in fifth grade. Fifth grade, okay. Are you married yet? No, <laughs> no, no. Oh, okay. Just, just a second. I asked that to some of our fifth graders here. Okay. Okay, all right. And uh, you want, I, we had a conversation on the way over. You want to become a? A kindergarten teacher. And I was so thrilled to hear that. I, I just really was. That's so wonderful. Um, can you tell me why you think you want to become a kindergarten teacher? Because when I was in kindergarten, my kindergarten teacher taught me through the stuff I had all through, and it inspired me. So I want to be a kindergarten teacher. What? Isn't that nice, Carl? It's a beautiful you thing. Yeah. You were inspired by your kindergarten teacher, and now you wish to become a kindergarten teacher yourself. That's wonderful. All right, and uh, maybe we can move on to uh, Rolanda, and uh, you also have an occupational goal, and tell us what that is, please. I want to be a lawyer. Okay, and you are, whole, what grade are you in, dear? Fourth. Okay, you like to read? No. Oh, well, that, that doesn't fit in well to being a lawyer, because you have to read oodles and oodles and oodles and oodles and oodles of case studies and things. So you, you, better, uh, you, you better begin to like it. Okay, all right, very good. Why did you think you selected uh, a lawyer to maybe become one? Hmm? Because I want to help people. Oh, well, you would there. Yeah, you sure would. But you sometimes, what kind of lawyer? Do you know the difference yet, or are you too young to know that? You know, uh, lawyers, that's, that's kind of a hard question for a fourth grader. Okay, but there are a variety of lawyers who deal with uh, a whole lot of things that we don't probably want to talk about right now. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. All right. Now, uh, let's bounce back to uh, Mr. Cisneros here from Mott Community College. If this child right here or that child right there wants to become a kindergarten teacher or a um, lawyer, they could begin that process right at Mott College, couldn't they, Very sir? true. Okay. Yes, every student that comes to Mott, <coughs> regardless of whether we offer a degree program or not, students can go after their associate's degree. Mm -hmm. And we have pre-education, we have pre-medical, which basically means many of the credits that you take mm -hmm. and transfer to the college mm -hmm. or university of your choice. So the really nice thing about every student that comes to Mott is they meet individually with a counselor or advisor and they are helped with the selection process of their courses and they can meet with them regularly to make sure they're on track with taking the courses they need that will eventually transfer to the and, school. And the choice. colleges that you mentioned that are on your campus right now, they could actually then, if it uh, coincided with where they wanted, to, what courses they wanted to take in terms of finishing their degree, they could go from a uh, uh, right through four years right on your campus. Well, that's for the most part. No, that's it really almost not. has to be a residency. Doesn't that, it? Not not going to happen. I mean, for the most part, some students can. Uh, go after certain courses uh, on on the campus at the university center, but mm -hmm. the but the most important thing is is that students can start at Mott mm -hmm. with the intention to transfer mm -hmm. to a four year or a public or private institution of higher learning. Yeah, and though almost all colleges require a residency requirement mm -hmm. in addition, they want you to yeah. they want to see you on their campus yeah. absolutely, yeah. Okay. and you want to have the college experience mm -hmm. by going to those campuses. Now, callers, if you've got something to ask of these four beautiful young ladies and a beautiful young man named Carlos Cisneros, two three nine five seven three three two three nine five seven three three. Ask about Mott Community College or International Academy of Flint or. Marymount College, or uh, you could ask Paul Herring uh, uh, what clothes he has on today. That's probably all. Wait a knows. minute! I'm a Mary Grove <laughs> almost kind of graduate. I was there for three months. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and we always kid with Paul every single time. We appreciate him. And Paul, our your okay, son is doing second. outstanding in terms of uh, basketball this year, sir. Uh, basketball? Academically? He right. just got well, an 88 on some, yeah. um, some test that was just a monster. Right. He was so excited. We have, a we have a caller already? Okay. Caller, how may we help you? Well, thank you for uh, calling us today. 
I missed the first part. Hello? Repeat yourself? Yeah, I, I missed the first part. Um, how is it being a student at International Academy of Science? Mm -hmm. to go off to college? Being a student at International Academy is amazing. You, even when you say the name in public, you get like respect for it. Even though in Alt Renslaw, you get respect knowing him. It opened many doors. You know, you come to school, you get forced to pay attention. <laughs> you get pushed a lot and challenged, and it makes you realize you can do a lot of things that you did not realize you can do. What a great answer. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a senior at Southwestern, so I was thinking about going into pre-med as well. Is a senior, where are you a senior Southwestern. 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 Oh, that's our neighbor's school. Very good. Are, are, yeah, are you in the Classical Academy, sir? Yes. Very good. Much success to you there. You're, you're in the IB program, aren't you? Yes. You're very good. Yeah, that's a highly rated program as well. So we commend Flint Southwestern, particularly their Classical Academy. And if you're in that program, congratulations, sir. I know you had to qualify to do that. Have you selected a pre-med school yet that you might want to consider? No. I, um, I've been assessed to... Um, Okay. Well, uh, we have a great Mott, Mott representative here, and I believe uh, now uh, let's address his situation, Carlos. Pre-med, he could begin something with you right there and save a little money. Can Absolutely he? could. We have lots of students that are doing pre-dental, pre-med. It's a great option to start for students who want to get, even if you're going to come for a year and get 30 credits, just think how much you've saved mm -hmm. taking 30 credit hours at Mott Community College to transfer to that four-year public or private institution. Um, we're talking about a significant amount of cost savings. And even those students that go on to get their associate's degree, we're talking 62 credit hours as a general rule to get an associate's. Mm -hmm. So you're halfway to a bachelor's and you stayed at home and in many cases you didn't borrow a dime. So that saved you a couple of years worth of student loans, yeah. which if you're eventually going to go to medical school, you will be very, very good at understanding what student loans are about. So, so um, call good luck to you. That's, uh, that's wise advice from a, a very um, uh, astute a gentleman from my college. So give that some thought. Talk it over, of course, with your parents. But do consider that. Any, any further questions, sir? Well, thank you very much for listening and for calling in. We welcome you each week, sir. Have you ever been to our school, by the way, if you ever want to visit? And, of course, we are you know, not suggesting you would transfer at a senior level because you'd be happy right where you are. But if you have you ever been to our school? Um, yes, once. Okay. Well, make, make it a repeat performance. We welcome you. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you very kindly, sir. I think we have another call. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you again. Second caller, how may we help you? Yes. This is David Yes. Hi, David. When is Spirit Day? Oh, oh, my goodness. What a great question. I should have mentioned that. David, thank you. You've opened up a whole line of, of information here for us. Kids, when is Spirit Day? Do you know? Next Friday. Is that right? Where? <laughs> what time? All <laughs> day. Five. <laughs> yeah, I'm holding up my hand. Yeah, this is the Spirit Day with a David. Great question. We can talk about that. Sure can. ABC 12 will be in our uh, gym, at a uh, high school gym, at uh, 5, 4.30 in the morning. We, mm. The doors will open. Carlos, I know you'll be there with me. Paul Ooh. will be there. Jesse will even come. And then uh -huh. at 5 o'clock. Yeah, up with the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> we Sorry, I'm not up at 5.30 or 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> we're going to uh, be on uh, live TV, of course. Our kids will be there probably... Uh, Oh, I bet a couple hundred for sure. Are you guys going to be there, you think, at 5 in the morning? What do you think? Or are you going to be going <laughs> over the ladder? I might be like, you know, going to sleep well, aren't, you going to let them, aren't you going to let them camp out in the gym? The oh, they before? can do that. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll do that. And this is a, a great partnership we have with uh, ABC 12, naturally, as well as Mark Jacobs, the, even that crazy guy. Yeah, as well as uh, the Eastern Michigan Food Bank, which is the real purpose behind it all. In fact, our kids right now, are gathering food together to for this event. It will all be on the gym floor. 
and then we'll get a certain number of pounds that we receive. And I will make a shameless plug if you will let me. I think that's Today, possible. From noon. You're good. Yeah. From noon until four, the Hispanic Community and Technology Center, we have our own food bank. Oh, please and do we tell partner us. with yeah. the Food Bank of Eastern Michigan. Okay, and that's at the intersection of Broadway and No. Oh, our where? event's gonna be at the local UAW six fifty nine hall on Van Slyke. Van Slyke. Next to Fisher Hall. I know where that's at. So it's a fundraiser. It's called Cena de los Pobres, translated Food for the Poor, Dinner right. with the Poor. Mm. And it's an opportunity for folks to come in and get a modest chicken soup okay. with tortillas. We have some desserts. It's a really, really nice opportunity for folks to come to help us fundraise for our food pantry. Are you going there from here? I'm and leaving there from are. here. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So noon to four noon today. To today. Noon to four today. Come on today. over, get a okay. bowl of wonderful soup. Okay. Last year we gave away 41,000 pounds worth of food through our food pantry. And we had, we've got some fabulous, fabulous volunteers okay. that are from our board. Excellent. Well, what a great event. The timing is perfect on that. Perfectamente. Okay. So we look forward to seeing everybody at okay. noon to four. Come on over and get a bowl of soup for our Cena de los Pobres. Okay, that one I can't say. I can say tacos. Everybody now. I'm good with tacos. So <laughs> we can say. eat them too, bro. All right. Okay, all right. Well, thank you, and thank you, caller, for mentioning uh, the, the uh, Spirit Day. Yeah, Channel 12, uh, Mark Jacobs will be at our school, 5 in the morning till 7, will be on periodically when they break for the news, and our kids will be hollering, shouting, screaming. I got a young man who's going to, he's about, seven or eight years old, and he's going to do backflips for us that day. He might be listening right Five now. Minutes, We're sorry. going to have a great time with him. All right, young ladies, we should ask you a little. Oh, can we say hi to Mom, just in case she's out of the dentist chair? Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. How you doing, buddy? Hi. Okay. All right, oh, I love you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> right. okay. well, you can tell these people raving on the radio. Tell us your favorite <laughs> subjects that you have, little guys, so you can talk a little more. What are your favorites? I know what one isn't, but tell us what one is. <laughs> what might it be? Science. Ooh, that's good. Very good. Okay, were you in the science fair? Grade four, yes, you were. You, what was your project? Tell us quickly. Cleaning pennies. Oh, okay. What What was the solution that cleaned us the goodest? Water and soap. So, really? Just plain old soap and water? Okay, very good. And folks, when I said cleanest the goodest, I did that. Uh, not, that was not a slip. I, I, I meant to say that. You've got something to say? You were in the science fair too? Never. <laughs> never that smart. But I do have a quickly a top ten list of why folks would consider Mock Community College. Oh, okay. I will share that quickly. Yes, Boris. Go ten. ahead. Aff affordable. <laughs> we're affordable. Right. That's the best value per credit hour in Tennessee County. That's it. Nine, transferable. Many, many, Absolutely. many credits Articulation with other schools. Public yes, and sir. Privates. We're flexible. 60% of our students work while they're taking right. classes. Right. Over seven. Choice. We have over 40 occupational right. certificates and 100 different programs of study. 100 different 120 programs. different programs oh, my of study. Goodness. Mm -hmm. okay. Six, student services. From advising to tutoring, we have reading, writing, and math empowerment centers staffed by full-time faculty to help students right. with any of those needs. Right. Right. You can walk in any day, any time of the day and get help with your calc, your trig, your math, your remedial math, okay. any of that stuff. Okay. Uh, five, reputation. Over 90 years uh, we've been around. 75% of our students have a friend or family member who have been a MOT student. Four, hands-on. We have 20 specialized MAC labs uh, on campus, including dental, music technology, robotics, building construction, graphic design, culinary arts, cosmetology, auto mechanics. And three, we're convenient. We have classes in four locations, Flint, Clio, Fenton, Lapeer. Two, fun. <laughs> Over 25 different clubs okay. students can choose from and eight athletic teams. Matter of fact, the Mott Bears basketball uh, team is playing today Right. Uh, the women start at one and the guys at three, right. and we have four national champions yes, we've had over in the Coach last ten Pat, years. Knowing well. Coach Steve yep. Schmidt has yep. been enshrined in the hall, great mm -hmm. guy. And one, we prepare our bears to be successful in the real, real world. Okay. So thank you much, sir. Okay, indeed, sir. And we prepare our kids to be successful in college. That is part of our mission statement. And these two little buzzards are going to do that, aren't you guys? Yes. Our pre-med 
heroes. Okay, very good. And we got a, 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 an attorney here, a lawyer, and we have a kindergarten teacher. What a marvelous And a lawyer that you don't read. <laughs> And Paul Harry, thank you for your time today, sir. I always I commend you for all you do for not only our school but uh, your your life in the neighborhood. I want to so. tell you, I'm a little upset. Okay. I'm a little upset with the Mott top ten list. I was waiting for a David Letterman style list, and <laughs> looks like David's safe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, thank you for your time today. Oh, no and the problem, callers Mark. that called in, uh, thank the gentleman, the young man from Southwestern, uh, thank you for calling. And David Hare, good for good. You brought up a whole area here that I probably should have talked about, and we thank you for doing that, my young friend. Jesse, what's my time, buddy? 11.58. Oh, I got two minutes. All right, let's all go to sleep for an hour. Okay. <laughs> Jesse gets right into through a panic the here. Cross. Jesse gets in a panic. At the end. <laughs> now, you know how we end the show, don't you? With the ooh -wee. Can you guys do the ooh well, We're going to really get ooh -wee 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 here, but I always do a little something <laughs> first. Hi, folks. You want to call our school? 600 5000 600 5, Thousand. That's our number. We'll be glad to talk with you, give you a tour, get you enrolled, do anything you want to do related to learning more about one of the finest schools in Genesee County based upon our cream of the crop award that we received just last week. And ladies and gentlemen, we're about to close off. Jesse is running his finger in the air and here we go. Let's say you are... Uh, looking at a blog or are you sitting in a fog or are you feeding your dog or are you... And i got to put my glasses on. Oh. got to wait, folks. Hang in, hang in, Hurry hang in. Up. Are you lovely, <laughs> languishing, lovely lily pads, limply laying, largely and lusciously layered, lumps of lard, luckily lacking lots of loopy-lipped laboring librarians, lending leafy lettuce leaves to Lebanese luminaries in Louisiana, Lubbock, Louisville, or Livonia? Then look at somebody and say, Woo! That is some kind of school! Juneteenth, a time to reflect and rejoice. Join the village. Celebrate African American Independence Day.